What if Padme Amidala killed Count Dooku? And I'm specifically referring to this scene in Season 6 when the Separatists have occupied Scipio and Count Dooku has explained to Padme Amidala how Rush Clovis basically betrayed her and helped the Separatists take over the banks. And so in this scene, Padme grabs a battle droid's blaster and she tries to shoot Count Dooku, but of course he uses the Force to uh, shoot and kill a Separatist senator instead. But what if Padme had been a little faster or maybe Dooku had been a little slower? I mean, Dooku is, after all, an 83-year-old, and Padme is a 27-year-old, so... Yeah, what if Padme had been a little faster and she just shot Dooku like seven times in the face and Count Dooku just died? Well, first of all, in the immediate aftermath, Padme Amidala would shut down all the battle droids on Scipio, and she would arrest Rush Clovis, and I think the Separatist Senator right here would uh, cooperate with her. And so the Republic would arrive to Scipio, the clone troopers would occupy the planet, and the banks would be handed over to the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic because Chancellor Palpatine, Darth Sidious, he would still be able to make his case and say, see, these uh, insane separatists tried to take over the banks and bank over the Republic, so um, that's why the Supreme Chancellor needs to be in control of the banks, and that's why I need to control them all. And so... That would still happen, and uh, that would be justification and proper um, protocol enough for the banks to be under the control of the Supreme Chancellor, and so Palpatine would control the banks. Sidious would win. He would win that part of the fight. Now, the Jedi, Mace Windu and Yoda, would be really impressed with Padme Amidala. They'd be like, Senator, you managed to kill Sith Lord? You managed to kill Count Dooku? Oh my, congratulations! And maybe they would throw like a special party for her or something. Obi-Wan Kenobi would be really impressed with Padme Amidala. Qui-Gon Jinn's Force Ghost would be really impressed with Padme Amidala too. And of course, Qui-Gon Jinn did seem to respect Padme a lot, and the fact that she would have killed Count Dooku at this point would mean that Qui-Gon Jinn's Ghost would be like even more impressed. And of course, the entire Jedi Council, all the, the entire Jedi Order would be super impressed with Count Dooku. Now, um, Darth Sidious, on the other hand, he, first of all, Darth Sidious doesn't really care about Count Dooku, and he was, Count Dooku was never meant to be a permanent apprentice anyway, but the fact is, Count Dooku was an apprentice, so, therefore, the fact that Darth Sidious' apprentice, Darth Tyrannus Count Dooku, was killed by a non-force-sensitive, by a senator, by... <laughs> by Padme, that would be embarrassing to Darth Sidious, and he would probably, like, put his hood on a little even lower than he normally does, and he would probably just hang his head in shame for, like, a week, or, uh, like, an hour. But yeah, Darth Sidious would be slightly embarrassed, and Darth Sidious would also be a little annoyed because having Count Dooku around was very convenient for, uh, public purposes, but, yeah. So he'd be a little, he'd be embarrassed and annoyed, but overall, Darth Sidious wouldn't really care, and also Darth Sidious would be like, Oh, Padme did manage to kill Count Dooku. That's actually pretty impressive. Uh, pretty impressive. I do uh, find Padme impressive, even though I really hate her, but I guess she's impressive for managing to, to kill Count Dooku. So that would be Darth Sidious' reaction. As I mentioned, the Jedi's reaction already. And Satine, Duchess Satine of Mandalore, she would probably be like, Oh, I'm disappointed in my friend Padme for killing someone, but at least, you know, she was acting in self-defense, so I forgive her. <laughs> Something like that. And then Anakin Skywalker would be so impressed, and Anakin would be like, Oh my gosh, my wife is so awesome, even more awesome than I knew, and I knew she was really awesome. She managed to kill Sith Lord Count Dooku. Oh, my wife is so awesome. And Anakin would be just falling all over himself in love with Padme, and he, maybe they would just go and see Luke and Leia together at that very moment or something. Uh, something I don't know, something like that. And so that would be Anakin reaction. Now, uh, Padme would work with the Separatist Senator right here, and they would probably try to find a peaceful compromise and an end to the war. But of course, all of that would be sabotaged by Darth Sidious. And now, Count Duke was just a figurehead, because the commander of the droid armies is General Grievous, and the leader of the Separatist movement is really the Separatist Council, and um, Darth Sidious is controlling everything, so Darth Sidious can keep the war going as long as he needs to and as long as he wants to, so Count Duke being gone changes nothing nothing at all. So Darth Sidious would just continue the war, and everything else would turn out the same way, and even with Count Dooku gone, it would change nothing, and Revenge of the Sith would still happen in the exact same way, and um, all the Jedi would die, and Padme would still die, but at least she would have the impressive um, reputation of being the one who killed Count Dooku. Now, of course, that means Anakin Skywalker would never get to kill Count Dooku in Revenge of the Sith, but still, Anakin would still be very powerful, and he would still be able to just become Darth Vader and do that, so... Nothing changes if Count Dooku dies at Padme's hands, except Padme's repu- So nothing changes if Padme kills Count Dooku, but Padme's reputation gets even better because she'd be really impressive for having killed a Sith Lord.